Hello there, and welcome to my Starship Emporium. I have for you today a rather lovely fighter. Here we are in the new redesigned headquarters of the Starship Emporium showroom. Um, it's still under work, but I'm sure we'll get there shortly. But without further ado, let's go and take a look. And here we are at the exhibition pad. Yes, it's still here, thankfully, as we call in this rather lovely fighter. We have today this lovely long nose hot rod. And this one found in Euclid is called Togak of the Horizon. As we can see, it's mainly grey or white with a purpley blue highlighted uh, secondary colour, Starscream engines, shockwave wing extensions, box thruster, and that lovely long sweeping nose down to the the very front end. As for decals, they're mainly white on this one, circular, and there's our glowing engine stack right in the middle. On the starboard side, the engine cowling and colouring is purple, along with the shockwave wing extensions, and really dark chrome with the little lights there highlighted on the, on the engine cowling. On the port side, the engine nacelles are grey, with a little bit of blue detailing there. And then the blue running down the length of the nose, all the way to the very end. It's kind of a blue-grey purple, so it's quite hard to put your finger on exactly what colour it is. Up on top, again, a nice bit of that blue colour highlighting over the panoramic cockpit. A nice clean box engine cowling cover with a handle on at the back just so you don't fall off. So there's the outside of the ship on the ground. Let's get in the cockpit and look at the stats. So I picked this one up as a C-Class and cost me uh, a million or two. A Not a, a beautiful array of equipment storage, but can be mod modified and upgraded with units or nanites. Or you could in fact wait on the planet's surface. This was from a T3 Viking system, so the chance of an S-Class arriving by itself was relatively high. So to space. And here we have her in all her glory. That beautiful almost grey purple. It's very nice. can be found at the glyphs on the screen in the Euclid Galaxy. Togak of the Horizon is the name. It looks great in silhouette and looks great in bright light. Long sweeping design of these hot rod long nose fighters. It looks like it could outrun anything in the galaxy or the universe. Sleek. Sharp. And the detailing is lovely. There's even got little red red markings on the side of that number of kills, perhaps. I don't know. Mostly clean of decals, but the paint job running down the side just accents those lovely glowing whatever they are to provide the extra boost. There's our shockwave wing extensions. And that blue over the cowling, or the purple over the cowling, and the wing roots. It's just a lovely combination. And given the fact it's asymmetric colouring as well, beautiful. There we can see the, the glowing portions and the piston heads perhaps, who knows. And the, the front profile is just so slim, so narrow, you're not going to be seen in a fight. Really hard to hit. And as we swing around the back we can see the triple box thruster coming out the back and the glow from the Starscream engines. What a good looking ship. If you're a blue or a white sort of fan, then this one should definitely be in your collection. Lovely detailings, the little lights there on the front and the cowling. Sleek, elegant, beautiful looking ship. I kept the standard white slash blue Starship engine trails in this could just matches the colours perfectly. And there we can see in silhouette how the how the form stands out against the dark sky and how the the glow from the hot rod portion really stands out. It looks really, really cool. Lovely silhouette. 
So there we have it, the Togak of the Horizon, a lovely gray and purple long nose hot rod fighter. A, an amazing addition to anyone's collection. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. I think she's a fine, fine fighter ship. And if you'd like to join my fabulous subscribers, please feel free to click the subscribe button and hit the bell thing. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and I'll see you next time.